I commend. Stand still. The head returns. Here, the thunder. Spend freely. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. Conflict. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Oh. Is that it? Show no mercy. Battles are chess games. No two are alike. I commend.
Life is as ephemeral as dew on a leaf, and full of worldly strife. And Lord's Commission Judge? Something's amiss in the Divination Commission. Everyone is mumbling to themselves. Is this some workforce overhaul? Did I set a bad example? Uh, I'm afraid not, Miss Tingtre. Something unexpected happened. I'm just not sure how to explain it. may have been infiltrated by some unknown creature. If you rush in, you could become a target, too. Miss Sushang, we're supposed to be operating in secret. I want Ching Chua to have an idea of the gravity of the situation. Hmm, I suppose Miss Ching Chua should be safe enough. The one we're chasing probably has a more, uh, complicated target. That sounds like a compliment, but at the same time... Eh, I'll just take it as a compliment. In that case, Miss Jingtre, could you stand guard here for us while we investigate? It doesn't seem like a good idea to just stand here under such dangerous circumstances, does it? I mean, you could leave, but... Wait, are you thinking of coming with us? Didn't you see how bad the situation was? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it all right. But if I leave now, won't that count as an authorized absence? I can get away with slacking off, but the Master Diviner won't tolerate complete abandonment of my post. Besides, you guys need someone familiar with the Divination Commission to show you the way, right? Then let's go. What's going on? Close to me, okay? I'm, uh, I'm a little scared. What are they looking at? Is everyone okay? There is only one way. Divination is meaningless. How did the Matrix of Prescience become like this? Look, Diviner Fu is standing at the center of the Matrix of Prescience. What is she doing? Judging by her chanting, I think she's performing navigation calculations. Or divining. But something's not right. The Matrix of Prescience isn't moving at all. A Heliobus? Is that the danger you were talking about? 
I read about them in a book. Starfire essence that can transform itself. Enjoys manipulating the dreams and desires of mortals. You mean the Master Diviner is being controlled by something like that? How can we snap her out of it? Uh, we could try ringing the harmonic chime. If we're close enough, we should be able to enter the Heliobus's illusion. Chatter is not permitted in the Divination Commission. Master Diviner! You're awake! Or perhaps we should call you Caroloom! It doesn't matter what you call me. I am the master of the Divination Commission. The current divination has reached a delicate stage, and no one is permitted to disturb it. Not even a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, or a guest from the Astral Express! Ching Chue! I have grown weary of your insubordination! Are you the one who brought these outsiders into the Commission? Have you turned a deaf ear to all the rules I've laid down? Ching Chue! You are hereby expelled from the Commission! I... Th that's... Darn! Now we're down one person! A great idea! <laughs> My days here really have been unproductive. Loafing around outside and playing Celestial Jade. All while taking a Divination Commission salary. It's... how to put it? the right way to describe it. I would call it... wasting my life away. Thank you, Master Diviner, for giving me the push I needed. Since you feel that my skills could be put to better use elsewhere, it's time for me to think about making some changes. But before I leave, I have to help these guests take care of some trouble here at the Commission. If I don't, people will think I was fired because of cowardice in the face of danger. What next? What do we do now? <laughs> Giving a dramatic speech to my boss was cool and everything, but it's not gonna help her break free from the Heliobus cloud in her mind. I'm not sure what to do. The Heliobus isn't trying to trap us inside the illusion, and it doesn't look interested in attacking us either. Clouding my mind? I've never been a clearer mind than I am right now. From now on, I will dedicate myself to defining the predetermined futures of the C and Joe Alliance, and will make these futures known to the world so that all can live in clarity. I know what you want to say. Spare me the lecture on human wisdom prevailing over nature and those ridiculous notions of free will. These are but crude illusions created by the brain. From the beginning, there was only one path. You. You are nothing more than a pawn at the mercy of the Stellaron Hunters. What day you boarded the Express, who your enemies are, where you go. These choices that you think you make freely of your own accord are mere tributaries that will eventually converge on the path of destiny. Your journey to the Sienjo, the defeat of Fantilia, all these were written into a script long ago by that slave to destiny, hidden in the shadows. Even in this very moment, your options are few. Ready your bat and charge at me! Argue with me loudly and futilely, 
or fall into silence. <sighs> Don't let her words get to you. There are always other options. me when you've thought it through. Trivial choices cannot change the inevitable. If you are still not convinced, I can demonstrate to you the true nature of destiny in a way that your human brain can comprehend. If you have gained clarity on the true nature of destiny, you may leave and stop interfering with my divinations. Trivial choice if you are still not, then follow me. This place is what the Divination Commission calls the Pathfinder. It's a sandbox game that diviners use to simulate future paths and exercise our minds. But 
Why did the Master Diviner bring us here? That's right. Now listen. If you place an Ingenium in this little maze and give it a command, it will find its way to the exit precisely as it was commanded to do so. Are humans not the same as they navigate the path of destiny set before them? But you're probably thinking, humans are not machines. There is more than one path in the universe. And yet, machines we are. Complex, sophisticated, but machines. We are just like the Ingenium in this maze. We have no options to speak of. We can only navigate one path. The one that takes us to our destination. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices destiny gives you. It feels like we're dancing to the Heliobus' tune. <sighs> Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices Destiny gives you. Your choices are as the Omnisia foresaw them. You should know that there was only one answer to this puzzle from the beginning, just as destiny has only one path. Yes, for a puzzle that was designed from the start, choosing any other path would be a pointless mistake. But the universe isn't someone's game, and no one is designing puzzles for us to solve. The universe doesn't have a single answer. We can do anything we want while we're in it. Even if it's the same work every day, I can hide in the library and read a book, or find someone to play Celestial Jade with. And that's freedom. I never thought slacking off could convince me of anything. A sign of a true scholar. A diviner of the Divination Commission, after all. Sushong! Snap out of it! A slacker Heliobus is getting into your head! <sighs> ching chue, ching chue. For you, life may have a seemingly infinite number of choices. That is because your choices are simply different ways of slacking off and wasting time. They are of no consequence to anything. But for me, choices come with very real consequences. <sighs> That's the most divinery thing you've said so far. As the master diviner of the La Fu, I have a heavy responsibility. I must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day, all for the preservation of this giant ship. Some paths look promising, but lead to an abyss of despair. Then there are small trails that plunge deep into unimaginable darkness. And in the end... I realize that we have no real choices. There is only one path to follow, only one way to the optimal solution, even if it is paved with ashes and bitterness. There is only one way, and there only ever was. What do we do? I don't think we can persuade her. I have a proposal. Why don't we try a more advanced sandbox? However long you want to play this game, and whatever tricks you try to pull, I'll happily play along. <gasps> Miss Jingtre! Use your free will to guide the Ingenium out of the sandbox.
Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium. Sure, the Master Diviner would say. Destiny only has one path. Your choices are just a predetermined solution to the puzzle. Actually, I don't think I agree. Master Diviner, let's reset the sandbox and give it another go, shall we? Again? Do it all over again exactly as it was? You can try it a million times over, and a million times over it is doomed to the same fate, because there is only one path. <laughs> I see what you're thinking, Ching Chue. You're an interesting one. Ching Chue, I've been thinking through the calculations for this puzzle. There really is only one solution. This maze was designed by Caroloom. It's no use. There aren't any other solutions. As long as we're playing this so-called game of destiny, we can't win. No, there's a second choice. There will always be another choice. Mr. Trailblazer, quick, say something to persuade her. Ready to begin? Of course there's another solution to this sandbox. Listen to my idea. You're all gonna help, right? Correct. Miss Chingtra, I don't know how you're planning to solve the puzzle, but I'll support this squad to the end. Count me in. I'm sure Miss Chingtra has something up her sleeve. If we can help, I'm in. I only need two people for my plan to work. <laughs> 